Hello, this is Chris Menard. If you have to do a lot of data entry in Microsoft Excel, it gets a little tedious going across one column to the next. So in Microsoft Excel, there used to be something available called a data form. It's still available, it just doesn't show in the ribbon by default. So let's go open up a blank spreadsheet in Excel. I need to put in a lot of information, so I'm going to do some abbreviating right here. LN for last name, FN for first name. <clears throat> so I'm just putting in my header row, department, uh, manager, salary. That works. Make the header row bold. And I don't even have to do it, but I'm going to put in just one record real quick. There we go. I recommend you make it a table. Again, still not required. So I'm inside my data. Control T. Picks up. Create table. I do have a header. Click OK. So here's a data form. And instead of having five columns, assume that I've got 25 columns so it goes way out to the right. And that's what I don't like doing. So I'm going to click inside my table. Up in the search at the top, I'm going to just type in form, best action, form, watch this. It takes my header row, it knows what worksheet I'm on, it says sheet one in the top, and I'm on sheet one, it took the header row and put it down. I want to put in somebody new, I've got record one of one. Also in HR is Carl, manager is Wilson. I press, I've been hitting tab to move down. I'm in the salary field. I'm going to press enter, get a new record. And so you can see here what I'm doing. Um, enter so I'll just tab and down so there is a data form for you I'm gonna close this out here's the issue I clicked up in the search bar and just typed in form as part of the new search features in Microsoft Office 365 but I'm gonna go a little old school data form used to be on the data tab but it's not here anymore so let's go add data form so it's always in our ribbon and it's gonna be on the data tab File, Options, and this is actually a cool trick just not for data form, for anything you want in the ribbon that's not available. Customize the ribbon. Notice by default up here it says Popular Commands, and then we also have Commands not in the ribbon, but there is All Commands. So now a list that are all the commands in Excel, I can scroll down to the letter F, but I'm just going to click in here once. Now I'm going to press the letter F and it'll drop me down there to feedback. I'm looking for form. If I could spell, there it is. Now, over to the right hand side are my tabs. If you notice, Back in Excel, Home tab, Insert tab, Page Layout tab, those are tabs. Underneath your tabs, so I'm on the Data tab, Sort and Filter, that's a group. Data Tools is a group. Data Types is a group. So what I want to do, instead of just adding form to data, I'm going to make its own new group. Outline is the last group under Data and I just expanded that. There's outline. There's outline. I'm going to go and hit new group. New group custom. I selected it. I'm going to do a rename. You don't technically have to rename it. I'm going to call it form. I'm going to click OK. So now I've got a new, I'm going to have a new group next to outline to the right of it called form. The question is, what command do you want in there? Well, I want to put the data form in there. So I went back to the left-hand side, selected form, 
add. So I've got a group called form and I got a command called form. When I click OK, it should show up to the right of outline. There it is. So next time I'm in my data and I need, and I need to use the data form for putting in data, I'm going to just select form, record one of three, new record, type away. Let me show you now real quick before we leave, when you're in the data form, we pull it back up, we have criteria. So let me swap files just for a second. Because I put this as a group, it should always be available regardless of what Excel file I pull up. So I've got a different Excel file. Data, there it is. I'm going to click inside the data once. Real quick, I've got 20 records because the header row is in row 1. When I hit Form, 1 of 20. I want to only see people that found us through the advertising source I'm making this up. Google Ads. I'm going to select Criteria. Google Ads. Press Enter. Two of 20 are Google Ads. Find Next. Find Next. I'm sorry, it was on record two of 20. So you can keep going through here. Notice it's only finding Google Ads. There's Find Previous. Back to Criteria. There's Google Ads. You can clear it. You can also do multiple criteria. I'm going to look for people that are in, notice California, column F. I've got the city San Diego. I've also got the city San Francisco. So I'm going to go Criteria. I'm already there. City. San Diego, CA, record 12, I'm sorry, record 7, record 3, record 2, record 1. So it is working. One last thing, I did San Diego. If you go to criteria and clear again, you can do wildcard searches. So there is star. Record one, record two, record three. Back to criteria. You can see what I typed in there. I said, I don't care what comes before D-I-E-G-O. I put a star there. I could have put a star after it. So there's your criteria. I'm going to clear it. Close. So there's data forms for you. I showed you they're great. If you have a lot of data running across, a word, <clears throat> one word of advice though, It'll stop at 32 columns. So if you have more than 32, I've had seen people do this, you'll put in a blank column, then you have to make another data form to finish putting in your data. But 32 columns is a lot. Great for data entry, great for just finding stuff. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day.